everybody welcome back to another brand new release preview video we've got a retail review here i've got an entire case of fat packs and i don't think anybody else does i looked on uh, youtube and didn't see anybody else that had opened this up i have not seen this product anywhere on the shelves so i figured let's just open it up and see what we can find and give you a little sneak peek before it hits the shelves at walmart or whatever we'll open about a hundred dollars worth now Tops is up to their prices a little bit. I've noticed they have uh, for sale on their website. Um, just picking out 13 of these. I think 13 is going to get us the right amount. But I noticed they had for sale on their website the blaster boxes today. And those are $25 now for a blaster box. Whereas in the past, they were always just $20 or $19.99 for a heritage blaster box. So... The all the talk about Tops raising retail prices, 25% is coming to fruition. So I can't really give you a price on these. I don't know what they're going to be in the store. I'm guessing, based off of what I've heard, probably about seven or eight dollars per pack or so, somewhere in there. So we're on location at Heather's house. So the cat is uh, here and meowing, and uh, that means it's ready to get going. So Richard is our sponsor for this video. Richard, thank you very much. we got a double upload day for you today. So if you haven't already hit that subscribe button and that notification bell, that's very important. There's a little bell next to the subscribe button. Make sure you tap that and hit all so that you get notified whenever I post a video so you don't miss a single thing because... We post every day and sometimes two times per day and sometimes three a day. So let's go ahead and get started. Here's what the fat packs look like for 2022 Heritage. There's 20 total cards. They are very easy to see through. You could easily see, uh, look who's on the top and see, oh, there's Nick Solak right there on the top. And uh, on the back, you can probably figure that out as well. I'm not a big fan of that. That uh, leads to pack searching, but I mean, you can just look at the card and or look at the pack. And you can clearly see that you can see who the name is. So... Keep an eye out for that. I don't know. Um, it's not it's not a good thing, but it's a thing that you should be aware of. All right, so here's our odds. Now, I don't have any fat packs from last year to compare the odds. So what I'll have to do is I'll have to throw the link in the description for my retail review of this product from previous years. And then we can look at the odds and see how much of a print run has increased. So there you see there's all of the odds. The chance of a relic here is 1 in 73. We'll kind of use that as our, I guess, our, our guide. I, I, don't, I don't know. Really, the best way to figure out a, an increased print run is to look at a numbered card that's the same in each series and then see what the difference is. Because who knows? They could have just put way more relics into this product. All right, 20 cards. It's Heritage. And here we go. 1973 design. It's been a little while since we featured this product on our channel. We're doing... $100 worth of Heritage Fat Packs today, which is approximately about 13 of these Fat Packs at the store. There's Reed Detmer's rookie card. We're looking for Wander Franco. And look, that card kind of has a bad cut to it. Look at the edging on there. It's almost frayed. It's almost like the, uh, the machine needs a new blade there. Kind of reminds me of some cards from like the super early 80s when uh, quality control wasn't always the best. There's a nice Casey Mize. Eduardo Escobar and Kyle Tucker, so nothing really great in that pack for Richard. By the way, we'll have an auction coming up this Thursday night. I'm thinking about possibly doing a uh, vintage auction. I, I might do a preview video for you tomorrow. Next up, we've got Michael Conforto. There's Bobby Bradley, Lance Lynn. I think is Conforto still a free agent. I think he might be. Uh, Conforto made a big, by the way, look at this. Some of these cards have a little bit of wear on the on the edges. That's the one thing I don't like about fat packs. The cards are a little more susceptible to damage in the, you know, the transit process. And we have something upside down here. So there's going to be a Travis Shaw. It's upside down and that is going to be a short print. So Travis Shaw, the last 100 cards in the set are short printed. And uh, we got one right there. So at least that's something to write home about. Travis Shaw, short print. We'll put that one at the top. And this cat keeps attacking me. It keeps jumping up like I'm a, I don't know, some sort of like playground or something going on my back. All right, next up for Richard, we got Nikki Lopez on the back. There's James McCann. Shane Bieber will be back and healthy this year. He only had two starts last season after the All-Star game. Mookie Betts will be looking for his rookie card and throwback Thursday tomorrow 
Actually, that would be Thursday. I'm losing track of my days. It is almost Wednesday morning right now. It's very late Tuesday night. I already did the silver pack video, but I figured, what the heck, let's do another one uh, because there's a whole bunch of uh, stuff coming up here on the channel. Do a double upload day. There's Teoscar Hernandez. If you haven't checked out that silver pack video, you should check that one out. 100 silver packs. There's another Casey Mize from 2022 Top Series 1. All right, next pack up. Let's see what we can find in this one. Got Kyle Tucker again on the back. Corbin Burns, your Cy Young Award winner on the backfield there. There's Will Smith. Got Jesus Sanchez and Sean Manaya. Looking for the uh, O'Neill Cruz rookie card. I believe he's got a card in the set. And what the heck is with him getting sent down to the minor leagues? Anyone see that today? O'Neill Cruz, one of the top, top rated prospects in baseball. I think he's number eight overall in all the game. Another Casey Mize. He got sent down by the Pirates. Why? Well, because they're the Pirates. And uh, it's a little, little bit of service time manipulation that we should be used to by now, living in Pittsburgh. We'll likely see O'Neill Cruz back in, uh, who knows, probably like June more than likely. Really bummed out about that. I was hoping to see him start the season with the Buccos. There's Glaber. Yankees looking for a bounce back season from Glaber. He hasn't been very good since 2019. We hit all those home runs. And I think a bunch of those home runs were against the uh, the Orioles. There's Patrick Corbin, Joey Gallo, Yu Chang, and Harrison Bader. And we have something else. It's going to be another short print. It's going to be Austin Barnes. So two short prints. Very nice. Luis Robert is one of my favorite players. Definitely a top five guy. And David Fletcher is the last one there. So, again, any card number 401 through 500 are short prints. Unfortunately, there's not a bunch of huge names on that short print list. But, uh, you know, always cool to find those. Short prints, once again, based off the odds, are one in every four fat packs. All right, so we've got Austin Riley on the front. I'm interested to see what he'll do this year. It seems like a lot of repeats in these fat packs. It's the second time we've found the Aloy Jimenez. All right, we've got Corey Dickerson and Ryan Presley. Some of these pictures are kind of boring. We're just standing on a backfield in spring training. Mike Zanino and Willie Adames. I like that picture a lot because it's taken at PNC Park. Christian Javier looking like a uh, card. Always, I don't know. He looks like he's crying. Very, very sad right there. Christian Javier, a good player that has nothing to cry about. All right, next up, let's go ahead and do, let's do a Shohei pack. Four different pack designs. You got Shohei Otani on one. You've got Salvi Perez on one. You've got Bryce Harper on one. You've got Xander Bogarts and Devers on one. <clears throat> Pretty cool pack designs. I like that. Oh, look at this. It's another repeat pack. Same collation that we've already seen already. There's Kevin Newman, Pirates shortstop. Josh Naylor once again. Uh, there's Alex Kirloff. Looking for big things from him. It'll be interesting to see which one of these 2021 rookies from last year. None of them really took a giant step forward, but which one's going to take a big step forward in 2022? And have their cards go uh, way up. And it looks like we have something else flipped upside down here. So possibly a hit. We'll see. And uh, what is with all the Sonny Grays and the uh, the Dom Smiths? There's Isaiah kiner -Falef. now of the Yankees. Jordan Lupo. I remember when he was with the Buccos. He was a good bat batting practice. And there we go. We have Kyle Muller. It is a chrome. It's our first numbered card. A good pack. That one's out of $4.99 on the Kyle Muller. And we also have a Danny Jansen short print card number 450. So not a bad pack there. You get a short print and a chrome card. That's our first numbered card of this video. It only took us, oh, how many packs? Like half of the packs to find it. All right, next up, let's see what we can find. We still have, I think I picked out 13. We still have um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven packs left. All right, here we go for Richard. Let's see what we've got in this one. Nick Solak, Aloy Jimenez once again. Still no Wander Franco yet in any of these, which is kind of disappointing. I was hoping we'd see him at some point. There's still a chance. There's Jaron Duran, who's like the second best rookie in this. We've got Randy Rosarena, Gold Cup card. Yoshi Sitsugo, and uh, Steven Strasburg is the last one right there. Next pack up, let's do a Harper. And see what we can find for Richard. We've got Paul DeYoung there. Um, I'm sure you'll probably see the Heritage hit the shelves this weekend. Now, Heritage came out, what was it, like three weeks ago? And once again, retail is lagging way behind the hobby release. 
Have not seen it on the shelves yet. I'm hoping it's going to come out this week. I'd like to grab some blasters, maybe some hangers. If they're, I don't know, sometimes they, they make the hangers. They made them last year. I would expect the hangers to be back again. Let's do this Salvi Perez pack. It's always nice to get something new. We've got Alec Mills right there. Frank Schwindel, Cubs uh, living legend right now. Emmanuel Class A, Gold Cup card. He's got good stuff. There's Mike Trout, finally. Mike Trout surfaces, card number 100 of the set. We've got the active home run leaders there. Albert Pujols closing in on 700. Needs 21 more. Miguel Cabrera, who hit 502. So he's there. He's only a few hits shy of 3,000 hits. And Nelly Cruz is probably going to need two more seasons to get to 500, but it could happen. All those guys aren't going to be around too much longer. Albert Pujols announced that it's his final season, so he won't be playing after this year. It's the final tour, so you might want to look at your schedule of your local uh, team and see when the Cardinals come in town and make it a point to go and see Pujols one final time because uh, you might regret it. Get, uh, get the family members out there and see one of the best to ever play the game. Of course, he's on his last legs now, so he doesn't have much left in the tank, but it'd be kind of cool to see him one more time. There's a Clemente. I like that they put that card in there, even though that's uh, they made it look exactly like the uh, the real card. I guess the, the differentiation would be it has the Baseball Hall of Fame on there. That would be an easy thing to spot. That Hall of Fame logo would not be on his original 73 Tops card. And look at this. We have a hit. It's... A relic. So one in 73 packs, and we do get a hit. It's Jose Abreu. We'll take it. All right. Jose Abreu, former most viable player of the American League back in 2020. So, Richard, congratulations on the hit right there. A game-used jersey card of Jose Abreu. That's probably not too typical. Like I said, one in 73 packs. So you have to open a bunch of packs like we did to find one of those. But every now and then you can just grab a pack and get lucky out the store. Luis Castillo with the hat tip is the last one. He's looking for a bounce back. He's really started off the season a little bit rough last year, but got the earned run average down to under four when it was all said and done. I remember thinking when uh, after April, I was like, man, what happened to Jose Castillo? I thought he would win a Cy Young at some point in his career. He's let me down here. He might be the next guy to be on the way out of Cincinnati. We'll see. Cincinnati's been making Joey Votto kind of mad. Trading away some of their nice talent. Guys like A. Eugenio Suarez and Jesse Winker. Got another hit coming up. It's a short print hit. It's Ledmis Diaz. It's card number 409, so a short print right there. We've pulled, oh, what is that, three or four of those right now? Which is right, right in line in what you would expect with one every four packs. Two packs left for Richard. Good luck, man. The rest of these, by the way, the rest of these um, packs that you saw in this case are going to be used for Patreon. So if you're on the $99 tier, I think I promised you in April I'd give you a Series 2 fat pack because I don't think I sent that. I just got those in like a week ago or two. So these will be probably the, the May featured fat pack of the $99 tier. The $99 tier, you get a fat pack, six additional packs, and two... Uh, blaster boxes and we have something coming up here look out it is a green a pete alonzo green chrome parallel and it's coupled up with a short print another great pack it's out of 273 so very very nice pete alonzo green chrome with a short print to boot of garrett cooper so we'll take that a little short print and chrome action right there good pack had a couple nice packs there's juan soto one of my favorite players and now we're down to our last pack for Richard. Looking for some last pack magic. Let's see what we've got to close this video out. Thanks again for watching, everybody. I hope that you will hit that thumbs up button if you haven't already. And make sure you come back time and time again. Because we got videos every day. There's Mike Trout. That's what he looked like when he was a kid. Mike Trout. Boyhood photo. Who would have known he would be uh, one of the best of all time at that time? Maybe his dad believed it, I'm sure. We've got Yasmani Grandal right there, Jesse Winker. We're going to wrap things up with final card of the video. Nice Seth Beer. No wonder in this one. Will Smith is the final card of the video. But we got some nice hits. We did hit a relic. We hit a couple numbered card. Bunch of short prints. Richard, thank you very much. There are 500 cards in the set. So we only got through, um, what do we have there? Like uh, 13 packs, 20 cards per pack. So we did roughly what 260 cards I had a lot of reprints or repeats there at the beginning which kind of hurts our chances of finding that wander so at least we found some good stuff that's what you can expect if you buy one of these out of the store 20 cards 
buy 10 to 12 packs, you might get a numbered card or two and possibly for lucky a relic. So thank you very much for watching everybody. I hope you guys have a great rest of your Tuesday. Make sure you tune in tomorrow. I'm hoping to have Inception for you tomorrow. I'll have a live case break for you on Thursday. And I'll have an auction for you on Thursday as well. And then we have a April Fool's Day video where I'm opening football. And it's serious. I'm actually going to try to open football and do a good job at it. It's 1984 Tops. Looking for Dan Marino and John Elway's rookie cards. And then Saturday Showdown will be back again on Saturday. So thanks for watching, folks. Have a great rest of your Tuesday. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody.